Down from father to son, some of the finer points are lost. But traveling Arkansas reporter Chuck Dobies found one tradition that's been followed precisely to the letter, or in this case, precisely to the note. Wendell Poole of Carthage learned quite a few things from his father. One of them was how to make a fiddle. He cut most of his timber out of the woods, and I went and helped him a lot to cut the maple that he put in them out of the woods. And then I worked a little bit on some that he'd get started, and I'd do some of the roughing. When his father died, Wendell decided to continue the craft handed down to him. He's made more than 30 fiddles during the past 20 years. He's also crafted five guitars and a mandolin from his own design. Poole is a retired minister, but he says he hasn't retired from preaching. And in between preaching, Brother Poole devotes just as much energy into leaving an impact with a fiddle. It gives you a feeling of accomplishment that you've made something that's uh, rather delicate and takes some time and effort to do it right. They said of uh, Stradivarius that if he uh, botched a job while he was in the manufacture, that he'd put that piece aside and start over. And you can't blame him for that because the tone that you get out of one after making it is what gives you the thrill. <laughs> So under the shade of the old apple tree, Brother Poole and his fiddle reach a happy medium. And with the word of the gospel and fiddle music in the air, the little town of Carthage fulfills another day. Chuck Delvish, 11 Action News, traveling Arkansas. That's our news tonight. CBS Night Watch began today.